in warm summers we have all tasted iced tea or simply lime water with ice. We very well know that ice floats on water. This seems quite peculiar as because solid ice is expected to have stationary close packed molecules and therefore denser than water. Whereas water is expected to have moving molecules which will be dispersed enough to enable free random motion and therefore lighter than ice. But the hard reality is that ice floats on water and is actually lighter. Now let us see the density pattern of water at various temperatures. It is seen that water has maximum density at 4 degrees centigrade. In this graph we see that density of ice is less than water, whatever the temperature of water is. From 4 degrees centigrade to 0 degrees centigrade water actually expands which is just the opposite of which is expected. Therefore it is called anomalous expansion of water. This property of water is actually nature's boom. There are many animals which can only survive in water like fish and their survival would have been impossible if water did not have this peculiar property. Because in that case the whole water of lake would have frozen. But since water at 4 degrees centigrade is the heaviest, only the surface of the lakes are frozen and underneath the heavier water is at 4 degrees centigrade enabling the fish to survive underwater even when the atmosphere is sub-zero. To understand this, we should know the structure of water molecule. An oxygen atom is covalently bonded with two hydrogen atoms with a bond angle of 104.5 degrees. Now due to difference in electronegativity of the oxygen and hydrogen atom, the bonded electrons are more close to oxygen atom rather than the hydrogen atoms. So we see a slight polarity and a small negative charge delta minus is on the oxygen atom and a small positive charge delta plus is on the hydrogen atoms. Thus water molecules are bonded with each other by weak hydrogen bonds. In water, the water molecules are always moving with a kinetic energy and this kinetic energy generates the velocity of the molecules and depends on the temperature. The kinetic energy is always greater than the hydrogen bond energy and therefore there is always making and breaking of hydrogen bonds in water. If a portion of water is zoomed as if to see the molecules, it is somewhat like this. Each water molecule is bonded with one or more water molecules but the bond is short lived and due to high kinetic energy of water molecules the bond breaks to make a new bond with another water molecule. This making and breaking of hydrogen bond continues in water like this. When temperature is reduced the kinetic energy of water molecules gets reduced and they move slowly so the water molecules remain closer. This effect actually increases the density of water which is observed when the water is cooled from higher temperature to lower temperature up to 4 degrees centigrade when the density is maximum. But if water is cooled further it becomes lighter. To understand this we should focus on the fact that hydrogen bonds are formed within water molecules following some specific geometry. Suppose this one is water molecule. Another water molecule will form hydrogen bond with it. It may form hydrogen bond either by approaching this way or by approaching this way or by approaching this way. But obviously the water molecule cannot approach this way because the delta minus charges repel each other. In this way two water molecules cannot come too much close like this. Also due to the specific geometry of hydrogen bonding of water there are formed some unapproachable gaps or spaces. At lower temperatures a water molecule cannot approach this space and also the kinetic energy and the hydrogen bond energy become almost equal and the molecules become almost stationary and formation of these gaps increase making the water lighter. This is why water becomes lighter below 4 degrees centigrade. But what happens when water freezes? When water freezes it forms beautiful hexagonal shapes like this which has much more gaps and the water molecules stop moving. At this stage the kinetic energy falls below the hydrogen bond energy. Due to this hexagonal distribution of water molecules with too many gaps, ice becomes lighter than water.